In this video, I'll show an example of search-based lattice planning. And the world model that I'm going to use is a model of the Personal Robotics Laboratory at Carnegie Mellon University. If you're familiar with the lab, hopefully you'll be able to recognize the model that's soon to load. Stage player is loading up. Stage is a simulator that is able to simulate physics. The underlying physics engine is the Open Dynamics Engine or ODE. And RViz is a visualization tool for ROS. So here is the personal robotics lab or the model of it. The blue box is the robot, the red box is our obstacles, which I'm just going to place in this room for now. And the robot is currently in the kitchen area. These are the glass walls, if you're familiar with the lab. The hallway would be here. Once all of my topics are successfully loaded into Arviz, you should see the robot's footprint in green. And I'd like to point out this subscription here to a topic called Move Base Node SPPL Lattice Planner Plan. And that subscription will be visualized in purple. So the global plan, the plan that's generated by SPPL Lattice Planner, will show up in purple. So I'm going to give the robot a goal to the other side of the lab. And once the planner returns a plan, you should see it generated. Okay. Notice the inflation of obstacles shown in red. And this faint white line is the simulated laser scan. You can see that uh, the obstacles are picked up by the laser scanner here. Just the front laser scanner. I think it has a 240 degree view, field of view. Okay, so it looks like the robot was able to get there without too much trouble. So let's give him a little bit of a harder time. just going to reposition him. Okay, so I'll give him a goal So that he's right in front of this hallway entrance here. And notice the plan. I'm going to move an obstacle in the way. Let's see if the robot will be forced to replan. Looks like he is replanning right now. Hopefully, he'll be able to find a feasible alternative.
as we're waiting for the plan to generate, I think at this point, Evan and I have had the chance to learn a little bit more about search-based lattice planning. Oh good, looks like he has the plan. And he cut it pretty close to the obstacle. Actually, it seems to me as if he would have collided had this not simply been simulation. Let's have him go a little bit further. Uh, we'll give him a goal over here just so we can show one more time how obstacles play a role. And he'll definitely need to replan. But like I was saying, or starting to say earlier, I think we've had a chance to learn a little bit more about not just the SPPL Lattice Planner, but also Stage Player and its underlying physics engine. We're still working on that. And how we can use ROS and its visualization tools to help develop our own planner. We're trying to merge, again, the concept of variable levels of detail, or VLOD, as VLOD planning developed by Manuela Veloso, into search-based lattice planning in the hopes that it's able to better handle dynamic obstacles or an environment that is highly dynamic. And our planner hopefully will be able to take advantage of these two planners. I'm currently running SPPL with 80 star search. It can be run with other searches as well. And the paths that are created are generated with the help of motion primitives. The particular motion primitives that I'm using in this simulation are for Herb, the home exploring robotic butler at the personal robotics lab. Hopefully we should see the robot find a path around the goal. I'm sorry, around the obstacle. It looks like he made it. And that's all.